Okay then, flip it out. Look at my hair and the bags under my eyes. You can tell it's been a you can tell it's been a long tour. So um, it's Monday morning and um, we're about to start week three of the tour, which is Wales, which is where Jack's from. And um, what I'm actually sharing here is uh, uh, some emergency instrument repairs. Um, my main guitar um, has developed a, a fault through the week, which has gradually got worse and it's making really weird buzzing noises. And then last night in Lincoln, my banjo pickup just stopped working. Just so happens that um, here in Leeds, we have one of the world's best resonator experts, Steve Evans at Beltona Instruments, and uh, he's a great guy. And um, so I'm taking the guitar to him, then I'm taking the banjo to Eagle Music in my hometown of Huddersfield. Uh, they are Europe's leading banjo experts. So they're right on the doorstep, and hopefully they've, they've both said they might be able to get these instruments turned around this afternoon, because as of Tuesday afternoon tomorrow, we're heading out to Wales to start the tour. Here we are, Eagle Music. So how cool is this then? This is Eagle Music, and then look at all this cool stuff here. So this is why my pickup stopped working in Lincoln yesterday, because this yeah. magnetized itself off onto something else. Yeah. It? That's it. It's working. It's working, yay. Here we go, just stopped off um, in Linthwaite, which is my little home village where I'm from. Very nice. Okay, let's see if I can hear that then. Two, three, four. Broken hearts are washed away. Broken hearts are washed away. Yeah. Bit wavery. Broken hearts are washed away. I'll try with the guitar. Hello, my I need that. Okay, then we've just taken a break from setting up here at the Blue Sky Cafe. And they said, do you want feeding? I said, can you do light veggie food? Look at this. Roasted cauliflowers, little squash, all kinds of nice things. And apparently tonight is basically a sellout. It's 75 tickets. And uh, that's good, isn't it, Jack? We're going to be rich. That's a week. Right? We're going to be rich for one night. That's good, isn't it? There he is. And if you get you one, well, the better get you two. There's one for you, but the other one for you. I got me a wife, a sweetheart too. Oh, I don't want it, but my sweetheart do I right. Half past eleven, we're just loading out, yeah, Jack. Yeah. And then 
You're going to, uh, you're going to drive to Osmond Street. I'm going to drive back to Tikoit, and then I'll get to you for midday tomorrow. Then we're off to Stour Bridge for one of my most favourite days when we go touring, because we get to go and see Ian McWee at Diamond Bottlenecks, and he makes the best bottleneck guitar slides. And uh, I love going to see him. Here we are at Jack's, let's go to Stour Bridge. Nice detour. Okay then, so here we are about to um, get to um, Diamond Bottlenecks. And Ian, who runs the place, has called ahead to say, look, the parking's bad, I'll find you a spot. Here he is, look. How about this for personal service? You're not gonna drive my van in for me? Yeah. Is this the valet parking then? Yeah, is this a, a, can, you, can you park it for me please, valet? Show me a bird. If we, we just chuck you the keys? Hello Ian, <laughs> we got in the video. Oh yeah. Uh, is, Welcome uh, to our car park. It's full, isn't it? Which is good. And these are all, pe these are all people buying bottleneck slides, I imagine. Oh, if only. Yeah. If only. <laughs> um, What's wrong with that one then? Oh, it's so here we are in the car park at Diamond Bottlenecks. I'm going to get a guitar, some finger picks. And uh, what we're going to do? Phone disconnected. Phone disconnected is um go in and uh, he's gonna fit us i'm gonna pull that face like you did when you were listening to radio company check my finger yeah. size he's gonna he's gonna make sure i get sorted out with exactly what i want it's a lovely experience So we've got some to try here, have we? We have. Ooh, look at these. That one, just see the top shave sock off. So we're just getting some fittings done here. So he's brought some various kind of uh, fit, you know, diameters down. That one's a bit big. But what you can do is get you fitted, then get a tube out, and then uh, chop out the bits out of the tube that where it would be your size in the tube, and then uh, finish the ends, polish the ends, and get it to the length that you want. It's always a lovely experience getting this done. I'm also going to buy um, one for playing like Hawaiian lap steel as well. So he's given me some different weights to try. These need finishing. You see there's one here as well, which is smaller. A lot of uh, sheep kind of references. I'm not really sure about the context. I'm sure there's a joke somewhere. This is where I'm just be, I've just been um, attacked for the size of my fingers, my <laughs> petite fingers. So, so could you get that on your finger, Jack? No, my finger's bigger than your finger. Well, there's no need to show off, is there? Not a chance. So change. that is, so th this one, we've just found this piece, and this, look at this, it's, it's basically very, very tapered. So for my little tiny skinny little fingers, it actually goes on. <laughs> And then it tapers at the end and it, it stays on. So this needs finishing now. Oh yeah. And then look, you guys are all like showing off because you got you can't get your finger in there. Well, do you know what? I can get my finger in there. So here we go. So Ian has uh, chopped this to size. And it's in a very fetching, what what, what do we call this finish Now we then? call Java Lava. Java Lava. Mm, nice. Classic. Coffee colored basically. It's coffee, coffee, yeah. Beautiful, okay. So the great thing about that is because it's as tight as a, uh, it's a, definitely. a mouse's ear. It doesn't want to fall off. Ooh. And it seems like a bird. I mean, that is a, I think that's possibly one of the fattest pieces of glass oh, yeah. I've had from you. Yes. <laughs> You've only done it. Last time. Um, so look, we sorted out. Look, he's done us 
two. So I've got this beautiful Hawaiian thing, this custom thing. Absolutely marvellous. So uh, off now to, we're going to go to a little music shop and then we're going to load in and sound check for the gig tonight. So equal footing with visiting um, Diamond Bottlenecks is to come to Pete's music shop here in Stourbridge. Happy to share this with you. Let's go inside. That, that, that uh, Jazz Master's beautiful. Jazz yeah, Master, nice. No, 250, that is. 250, that is. It's a square. Well, it's a nice one. It's nice, that. It's yeah. retro early, so this, is, this must be the country stuff. This must be the country stuff, then. Okay. So what's that then? That's actually uh, that's, the that's a concert program. Is that your personal concert program? Yeah. For Gene Vincent. That's really cool. Eddie Cochran. Eddie Cochran. Wow. So cool. Oh my god. So we're just checking if this uh, eight-inch Hawaiian record plays. It does. Just on the way. Lifting. Okay. So we've just left Pete Buddy's shop. I got a nice little haul. Got that uh, lovely seventy-eight. Hawaiian record, which is really cool. I got the uh, this book about the history of gypsy jazz uh, and Django Reinhardt. And then I got this really cool book, um, the history of lap steel guitars. And I paid £20 for the lot, which is a bargain. So here we are at the venue and this guy was just walking past with his shopping and he stopped to look at our poster. Is he gonna come tonight? Wind down the window and tell him we're here, see if it makes a difference. Yeah, I'll go up to him and say hey, hi. Up, lads. I'll go up to him and say, hi, I'm Jack Amblin, and maybe you'd like to come to the show tonight. <laughs> New slides today. So here we are, we're just um, upstairs at Claptrap. Look at this, this is like a purpose-built studio, yes. filming facility, like what, what do you do up here? It's a studio stroke, uh, well, it will be a sort of a live room as well, there's the lights on. Ooh. Uh, you it's know, about, you're it's doing about a 40 capacity room. Nice. With a stage area. Um, you haven't been wasting your time. You haven't been wasting your lockdown, have you? No, no we've been, been busy. busy. And it's all, um, this is all wired through into the recording area, so yeah. e everything that, that um, is performed on the, uh, in here can be recorded as well, or videoed, or you know, live streamed, that sort of thing. So you've got a recording studio as well? Yep, yeah, so the recording studio is in here. Everything that's in this area, the drums and the vocal mics and the amps and everything are all mic'd, um, and that's all ready to go. Yeah, we've just got a little bar in a corner, no, a little it's cocktail beautiful. bar. Beautiful. Um, we just need to some people to uh, start using it now so we stop drinking all these cocktails ourselves <laughs> this is we, great we can confirm that it all works this is awesome and then so tonight we're kind of using this as like the green room while we're waiting to play i mean this is luxury isn't it chad so it's funny you know we this beats toilets to now and i'm going to stay but you said you'd sleep on a floor this this would be this would be a lovely room to stay in what a lovely room to stay in <laughs> sleep on the rugs <laughs> yeah man it's still yeah, beds yeah. i'd sleep on the floor yeah. yeah lots of posters then look, there's our first one. Vintage poster there. It's actually vintage. the chance to work his way up the ranks in hell if he can get the soul of Jack Plugman.
Your hair looks beautiful. What a way to wake up here on Friday morning. What we're going to do today, Jack? I'm in doing Cardiff. What does that mean, Jack? Go to Cardiff. We're going to go to Cardiff, but we first of all we need to get up, and we need to. What we're going to do? We're going to sort some money out. We're going to. Got to pay the people in the venues and us. We've got to pay us. We've got to go sort some. We've got to sort some CDs and T-shirts out, and this is very nice. Look at this. Jack just moved into his new house. Look at these luxurious surroundings. <laughs> Another 240 exactly the same as her. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Here we are in Ocean Arts, Lauren Gaudive down in Cardiff. Someone turned up very early. I might just do some sound checking or tuning. in. Yesterday, and it's I don't know, it's just I don't know if this comes across to you, your drumming ears, or are people out there in the, in the internet. Through these amazing quality how, phone speakers, I'm sure yeah, it sounds great. How nice does that sound? Like, <laughs> thank you, Ken. There we go. You're absolutely <laughs> right. We went to see this guy in Stourbridge yesterday who makes the world's best glass things, yeah. and and he fits them for you and they're just, it's just ridiculous. Hey everybody, we are um, driving away from Ocean Arts. It's quarter to 12, quarter to midnight. And we're leaving Cardiff and we're driving back to your dad's house, aren't we? Up in the beautiful hills of Wales, and that's like an hour and a half or something. But we're, we're going back because Jack's dad's got a lovely big house and he's a, he's a flipping ace fella. But it gives us time tomorrow to run some songs and try and get them in the set. Brecon. Oh yeah, the rugby's on tomorrow as well. So, and I know that there is beer about, so we might even watch the rugby, which is going to be fun. So anyway, uh, here we go onwards. Two more gigs on this this uh, leg of the tour, the Wales leg this week. Yeah, there's a lot of different pronunciations that are going to happen today. Well, supposedly, um, it's so we're on the track to Jack's dad's house. Whenever you come here, you never get away without doing some kind of lifting, as because Jack's dad's still kind of like building the place. So every time now, see all this metal stuff on the outside uh, office. We moved all that years ago. <laughs> yeah, can you feel your heart rate rising? Don't fall. We're pushing. So this this traveller, that's dad's traveller I used to borrow when I was 17 in my first quartet. So we had drums, bass, piano and trumpet, but it was a keyboard and it was an electric bass. We used to fit all four of us in it and all the gear. But you used to just... No, she never, she never played double bass. No, it was only uh, Rosie, wasn't it? It was only, yeah. only electric bass. So you used to go and do gigs in this. And, oh, and, and what era is this car? Like, is it 50s or 60s? It's, it's 68, I think it is. But it's got right. a complicated case series in it. So it's like a modern engine. But it's just the problem was, it's just got really soft suspension, it's got leaf springs, so it's just, it used to just grind on the arches all the time. Because of all the gear? Yeah, but and but I only had a fit of punter at the time, so I couldn't fit anything. And obviously couldn't fit in the Mini, had the Mini as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I was the oldest there, no one else drove. And that's, is your dad bringing this back to life now then? Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Okay. That's such a cool car. Oh my God, look at that. Right, this one. Um, oh, I don't like the wheels. No, horrible, aren't they? This one, um, the body's really good on this one. You look like, you look like Mr. Toad. Onwards, I, in many ways, I am Mr. Toad. This is amazing. It is. I can't believe that, like, 
how small this is inside. Yeah, I'm tiny. a tiny person. What? How did like real people drive these? Uh, with difficulty. I bet. It's crazy. Yeah, I need right? to. I, I want the seats too upright. Yeah, it starts which is one of our bestest gigs that we do, a gig we love. Just leaving Hlandovery. Do you think we'll see Prince Charles going for a walk? Right near his house, but no, he won't be able to stay in his massive estate. Yeah, he lives around here, just Prince Charles, doesn't he? He's got his place. One of his houses. One of his many houses. We are at the Muse, the old museum in Brecon. It's a lovely place. Love this town. So this is, in many ways, a perfect setup. So Ruth, bless her, <laughs> has managed to get the rugby on for Jack. And look at this, we've got some lovely, amazing, delicious food that's just arrived. And we're just set up and waiting now. So it's the Christmas light switch on tonight. And the streets are full of people waiting. So much anticipation and people getting excited as you walk around. Okay, so we're heading out now towards uh, Cardigan, which is going to go and help Jack's dad a bit more, move some stuff. Um, nice evening last night, Jack. Did you enjoy the gig? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, Always nice in Brecon. Nice bunch of people. Sell out again, which is nice. It's going to uh, make up for the nights which aren't a sellout. <laughs> on this well, most of them. Most of them, yeah. Half. <laughs> Um, which is good, but uh, yeah, we had a nice little whiskey and all that kind of stuff. So we're uh, off now to Cardigan, which is a lovely place, lovely gig. You always get this on the Welsh country roads. You always meet tractors on the way. Oh, look at that! Yeah, what's that? That's a guy and girl. That's a guy on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all The whole reason the military adopted pogs overseas it. So here's a shop that specializes in Welsh paraphernalia. Could you, uh, what, what would you buy here, Jack? What would you want to have in your house? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. So here we are at Salabar in the beautiful town of Cardigan. Super cool place. Larry, really, isn't it? It's more of a. Uh, it's 
still think he should be a doctor, you know. Mm. Well, I'm sure he'll play well. So what we'll do, are you okay if we sign it here then? Is that okay for you? Yeah, of course. Okie dokie. I've never done this before. <laughs> So we're sitting for a cardigan. We haven't even played yet. We don't play for another sort of like 20 minutes. We've sold nine t-shirts already. We're actually out of some sizes. Look at this, this is absolutely... we're out of sizes. Oh, no, no. Well, we can post them on, but... And this, it's not even full yet. There's still quite a lot of people to come in. So this is, this is bonkers, isn't it? We could just pack down and go home. <laughs> Shall we just do that? <laughs> oh! Thank you! <laughs> so we've just done a picture with all the people that bought t-shirts today. Look at these people, how cool. Say hi everybody. Hi. This is for our tour diary video. Homewood. Homewood indeed. So we've just loaded us up out of um, the Celebrate cardigan. It's nice and dark in here now, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, there you go, there's some quality lighting. So we've got, look, look at this, we've just been given some lovely ice creams to eat through the night. <laughs> it's about half eleven at night, we're going to drive back to your, uh, back to Jack's house. Get there about two in the morning, you think? Let me tell you right now. 2.06. 206. You'll shave some time off that on these. No, no, I don't speed. You, you cheap. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you don't, you don't speed here. No. But, but I, I feel like the sat nav time will come down, oh, yeah. driving through those country roads at night. Definitely. Um... <laughs> So there we go, that's the end of week three, really, isn't it? And um, how was tonight's good for you, Jack? Yeah, well, I'm, oh, I think basically all the gigs in Wales have been good, which is pretty much what I thought. Is that because you're Welsh? And we've got a good following down here. Yeah, we do have a good you following. Do, do some Welsh language stuff. And you, yeah. Well, yeah, we did some Welsh, you did, you did some Welsh singing today, didn't you? So tonight, again, it was like ticket sales were down in the week, and the owner was a bit worried, Steve was a bit worried, but we sold out tonight, a lot of walk-ups. We sold a crazy amount of T-shirts and CDs, mm. didn't we? So that's amazing. So Wales has done done us good, done us proud. So anyway, onwards now. So uh, onwards to Oswald Street, and then uh, week four starts on Wednesday in Luton, in the southeast of England. Lester, hello, Lester. Hello, beautiful doggy. You little gorgeous, you little gorgeous.